People can become so covered on the street. I remember one day, I was in a big shopping street in one German city and people were so covered, they didn't even respond when I hold up the book. You know, I was just going, hello, and they just, just tons of them, hundreds of people, like, like a stream, just like robots. And then I was saying, okay, I have to be more enthusiastic, you know. Hello! You know. No response. And I was saying, okay, okay, okay. Okay, hello! And they were just, yeah. You know, there was no way to get in. So I didn't know what to do. I went to the car and was thinking, oh, what do I do? And then I saw, there was a little bell we had standing there in a car for offering. So I took the bell. Went into the shopping store going, okay, but it's good. And I gave him a book. And actually, he bought it. Then I turned around and again, another one. You know, nobody asked about the bell or why I'm ringing in my master. They were so covered, they just heard a sound, eh? And then I could actually reach them. You know, this is what Maya can do to you. Even worse. In Germany, they have just huge towns. There's, I don't want to mention the names, you don't know in any. But big towns with huge shopping streets. There was one shopping street that was coming from a main train station and like four or five o'clock in the afternoon. It's like a human, you know, stream just rolling down the hill. You know, all. So it's like stampede, you know, like sheep or buffaloes just <laughs> yeah, all at once, you know. And you stand there at the book, <laughs> you know, and they just roll over you. Sometimes a book disappears, you know. <laughs> it's such a passion behind the whole thing, they just roll down the hill. So what do you do, you know? <laughs> so in these situations, I said, what is doing things, because we were stuck in the town, we couldn't move on, so, you know, I said, one day we were walking around going, fire! Fire! People go, no, <laughs> Nobody ever asks where the fire is or what's going on. Just to, just to get them out of that thing, you know. Or even worse, I saw Vandi Vori, he didn't know anything else to do as to make, throw himself on the floor, make underwear, just boom. People go, somebody <laughs> down there, and as soon as he stopped, he jumped up and was going, hello! You know. You have to be pretty young and pretty elastic for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the madness you encounter when you go in Sankitan. So, uh, 